Coming up on UT10 News, the final presidential candidate was on campus. And students' artwork appeared on billboards all around Toledo. Plus, Lydia Sims has highlights from a huge doubleheader in Savage Arena this weekend. Your news in 10 minutes starts now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angelique Baird. And I'm Devin Lutz. The final of three presidential candidates was on campus last Thursday. That's right, Angelique, and I caught up with her at the Open Forum. Held in University Hall's Dorman Theater, the public forum hosted Dr. Sharon Gaber from the University of Arkansas. In the past six years, Gaber has increased Arkansas's enrollment by nearly 40% and increased the six-year graduation rate. With her possible predecessor, President Nagi Naganathan, in the audience, she explained what she believes helps get students to graduation day. Where you can add academic advisors, it will help the students. We've seen that that helps them get on target to be able to make progress toward graduation. Students and faculty had the opportunity to ask questions and express their concerns. One of those concerns was regarding UT's current open enrollment policy. I am generally supportive of an open enrollment. My, my goal as an educator is to educate as many students as we possibly can. Gaber also explained her hopes for the future of UT. Really what I want to do is help enhance the culture and make people very proud and excited to be a part of the University of Toledo. I think that exists here. I think we can build on it. UT's Board of Trustees will meet March 9th to discuss candidate feedback. As of now, the board has not set a date regarding the final selection. UT invited George Zimmerman's lawyer to speak on Thursday about the Trayvon Martin case. Don West spoke to 100 people at the Law Center's McQuaid Auditorium. West presented evidence used in the case to explain how media altered the proceedings to promote a bias. February 26th was the third year anniversary of Martin's death. I hope that I didn't come off as someone who is crusading on George Zimmerman's behalf. I'm not. I did my job. Maybe I said something that was connected directly to the evidence that caused them to think again about the case. The event was sponsored by the Phi Alpha Delta Law Fraternity and cost around $850. UT students have been showing Toledo their artistic talent over the past month. Reporter Katie Karakas had the chance to speak with some of the artists. For the third year, Lamar Outdoor Advertising is displaying UT student artwork on 26 of their billboards. With over 90 submissions from a variety of student majors, the juried selection process chose 20 pieces. The only requirement was for the art to be submitted in digital format. 45 students submitted work and were allowed to enter up to five pieces each. The art was not specifically displayed in Toledo, but on billboards all over Northwest Ohio. It's important for you know artwork to have an audience, and what better audience than the place where everyone's the artists are living, you know? So to be able to get it outside of the gallery, to get it outside of the the school. According to the art department, the target audience for these billboards is larger than that of a museum or gallery. It really doesn't discriminate against what types of people get exposed to it. If you miss the chance to see the artwork display, you can check out the art department's Facebook page at the link below. I'm Katie Karakis for UT10 News. Not many people know that UT offers a cosmetic science major. The program is offered at the College of Pharmacy who partners with a professional corporation called ACT Solutions. Ten cosmetic science and formulation design students are developing over 100 makeup prototypes. They test cosmetics, come up with formulas, and create their own products. All experiments are conducted in room 19A at Wolf Center on the medical campus. One graduate of the program, Vesna Grant Howard, developed Jurgen's Natural Glow. The university wrapped up Black History Month with Black Student Union Week. The week is dedicated to BSU's goal of empowering and helping African American students succeed. They held six events, including Dreaming America, with nationally recognized journalist and activist Kevin Powell. BSU closed the week by showcasing poetry, choreography, and displaying powerful images about black history. Black History Month every year, it emphasizes what we need to learn and, and how far we need to go. If you become complacent with black history, you tend to forget about it. More than 30 restaurants in the Toledo area are lowering prices for a good cause. Reporter Mark Ruwert has been out getting a taste of Toledo. The fifth annual restaurant week began yesterday and will continue until Sunday, March 8th. Local restaurants are offering over 108 special dishes at discounted prices ranging from $5 to $30. A few participating restaurants close to the university include Bar 145, 
Burger Bar 419, Ventura's, Sean's Irish Tavern, and Grenkowski's. For $20, you get three courses. You get an appetizer, you get an entree, and you get a dessert. And for each course, you've got a choice between two different options. Uh, so not only do you get great food, but you get to kind of pick your meal, too. 10% of the proceeds from Restaurant Week will benefit Leadership Toledo, a nonprofit organization that holds monthly leadership training for high school sophomores. Great opportunity to highlight some of the locally owned restaurants that we have here and have fun at the same time raising some money for our youth program. So if you're looking for a high quality meal, head over to our website for restaurant locations and details. I'm Mark Ward for UT10 News. I'm Leah Sims, and this is your UT10 Sports. It was an important weekend for the Rocket Sports as both the men's and women's basketball team looked to improve their conference standing before the MAG tournament. But first, the members of the women's soccer team are shocked after the surprise and immediate resignation of Brad Evans. For 13 seasons, Evans led the Rockets to three MAG championships and received the MAG Coach of the Year award in 2010-2011. However, on Tuesday, he left his position as head soccer coach at UT. Evans has stated that he had inappropriate relationships with past co-workers, which is why he has stepped down. However, the university AD gave another reason for Evans' departure. Uh, Brad made the decision, personal decision for him and his family to uh, seek other opportunities outside of athletics and uh, uh, maybe possibly move out of the area as well. The athletic department is already beginning a national search for a new coach. It was senior day at Savage Arena as the Rockets hosted Central Michigan with the MAC tournament implications on the line. The Rockets opened the game by honoring their seniors Stephanie Recker and Emma Thanagara. In the first half, Anna Capitosa passes it to Harris, who swings it to Joanne Bravo Harriet, who knocks down one of her four three pointers in the game. It did not take long for Thana Garrett to get her game on in the second half as she slices through traffic, finishes at the basket with a finger roll. Janice Monacano also contributed with two of her 11 points with this assist to Dana Garrett with this nice layup. Leading the Rockets with 18 points, five assists, Dana Garrett pumps fake, draws a foul, and gets an and one opportunity. The Rockets seniors went on to the top at the team with went on to 62 to a 53 victory. It's been fun these last four years playing in Savage Arena. Um, I've never had that much fun playing basketball before, and it's definitely something that I'm going to that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. It was also senior night for the men's basketball team. The men put on a show Saturday night against Ball State by giving over 6,800 fans some tricks to remember them by for their last home game. The Ball State won the tip, but this did not get them very far, as John Jan Williams pulls up with his nice layup to put the Rockets on the board. He was not alone when his teammate Justin Drummond draws this nice foul and makes a layup with an and one opportunity. The Rockets close out the first half with his assist to Julius Brown and J.D. Willis with a slam dunk, giving the Rockets an 11-point lead. The second half was nothing less than a magic show as Drummond steals the ball rushing down the court and tosses it off the glass to Witherspoon, whose explosive alley-hoop dunk. The Rockets secured a beautiful victory with 70 points to Ball State's 59. Nice win and, and a great way for us to send out, you know, three special seniors. Also, the UT Club Hockey also qualified for nationals. Awesome, Lydia. Thanks. That's it for UT10 News. For the latest breaking news from campus and bios from all UT10 reporters, go to our website, ut10news.com. And remember, you can watch the live stream of our newscast production every Tuesday morning at 1030 on our YouTube channel. For Devin Lutz, Lydia Sims, and all of our crew, I'm Angelique Baird. Have a great week and stay tuned for more news from the UT campus.